and welcome back to Just Trucking with Tank, Tiki, and T-Dubs. Oh, wait. Wait, hold on. Wrong truck. My bad. Wrong channel. Wrong channel. All right, we're back. Hey, welcome back to Velox 18. Woo, it's cold out here in South Carolina. Uh, if you guys don't know who that was, if you don't know that truck, uh, then where you been, man? Where you been? Uh, I stopped by to see Justin last night. We caught up for a couple minutes. Uh, we went live on his channel. If you didn't see that, you can go over to his channel and check it out. Um, I know he recorded me a little bit last night, so I think I'm going to be on his video today, which is kind of exciting and fun because he's a big channel, man. He's a big channel. And actually, he's one of the channels that helped start my channel, kind of. I did like an impersonation video of him and a bunch of other people, uh, a bunch of other trucker, trucking YouTubers. And uh, he shared it out and all those other guys kind of shared it out and it boosted me up from like 100 subscribers up to like, you know, a few hundred subscribers and then maybe 500 subscribers and then like 600, 700. I don't know. It, I, I had, I kind of, I kind of gimmicked my way to get recognized on YouTube. And then, uh, then I just started doing regular old videos like I do now. And I kind of act a fool sometimes, but um, yeah, I don't do any more of that, like trying to act like other people because I'm really not that good at it. It was just fun to do. Um, but uh, yeah. Now we're doing our own little spin on it today because well, because I'm hanging out right there next to next to that thing. But um, anyway, I'm picking up my trailer today. It's loaded. Uh, if you missed yesterday's video, I went to um, uh, Americold and dropped my trailer, and then they said my my load would be ready this morning. Um, they start work at five, and that uh, the earliest it would be ready was six. So I called them at five thirty and said, "Hey, do you guys have an ETA on that?" Uh, on that um that trailer of mine and they said i just talked to the supervisor he said it'll be ready by 7 30. so i went back to sleep got some more sleep which was good and uh now we're gonna go and pick up the trailer it should be loaded by the time we get there it's just after seven o'clock and uh yeah so nothing left to do nothing nothing in the world that i could think to do right now they roll the music So yeah, it was really a pleasure meeting uh, Justin and T-Dubs last night and uh, getting to kind of hang out with them just for a little while. We both have have work this morning, we both got to do things. Uh, their kids were, were asleep, so I didn't get to meet the uh, the three monsters, but I, uh, I had a good time just hanging out and like actually meeting them in person you know I've watched so many videos of uh, just truckings over the last few years uh, really one of the reasons why I felt confident in starting my own authority was because I was watching him do it and I was like all right this guy like is teaching and, and, and explaining kind of what he does and I think that I can do that and I kind of went back and looked at some of the some of the information I had for the market I was in in California and I was like hey I think I think I could do the same thing he's doing over there over here uh, and so anyway him being transparent with with what he was making uh, on the financial side is a is a reason why I I decided you know what I want to do that uh, for the lanes that I run and, and try and help people know you know uh, whether or not they can make a living for their family kind of in this trucking industry on their own authority uh, so anyway he was a big inspiration and uh, and then his sharing out of my video my silly video and, and the other guys too uh, uh, Sammy Lloyd of Make Sense even made like a like a clap back video where he came back at me and like he like uh, photoshopped my face onto all kinds of like uh, movie scenes like I don't know I was like Miss Congeniality but it was my face uh, on top of Reese Witherspoon's face, and then uh, there, there was, he did a bunch of them. He did a bunch of them where he he, he got me pretty good on that one. Got me pretty good. But uh, anyway, um, like those kind of things, like like you guys know, if you've been watching my channel the last few weeks, like I sent you guys over to uh, go subscribe to Fate Trucking, and um, and we did it. We got him over a thousand subscribers, and, and I appreciate that you guys go and do that, but. 
uh, it's like it's 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 real small and insignificant, and yet at the same time, it's kind of a big deal. So, you know, getting to hang out with Justin last night and being on a live and stuff, it, it helps the channel. And even though it's it's not magic, it's not like oh well, you know, you just you just get on uh, you just get on like you know big YouTube channels, and then all of a sudden your uh, your audience grows to you know whatever huge numbers it's like no you still gotta you know do the work and put out videos and do all that and that's what I was telling fate trucking like hey I I'm really not responsible for you getting your uh, subscribers but I understand it is a help because I've been helped so many times by so many others so I'm willing to help others just like I've been helped and uh, you know build build these YouTube channels um, especially ones that I enjoy watching whether for entertainment or for information so Anyway, uh, yeah, so anyway, so I appreciate just trucking, um, and, uh, and I knew at some point I'd be in this neck of the woods. I actually thought it'd be sooner than, you know, like this many months that I've lived out here in the South, but, uh, yeah, I came to South Carolina, I think one other time to pick up a load or deliver a load and pick up a load. And I think that's when I learned like, man, this market like pays okay going in, but there's not that much reefer freight going out of it so and even this load the only reason why it pays okay is because uh it's a four stop load we got four stops today we gotta drive six hours into tennessee and then we gotta start making drops as soon as we get there so we got like a full day's work uh, as we uh, as we head over to uh to grab uh grab this load we got we got like probably an eight hour day nine hour day uh in front of us maybe ten depending on those stops like they expect them to take 15 minutes but I've been to a lot of these places uh, you know doing like like these are all public stores and it's like sometimes they're hard to get in and out of sometimes their docks are you know they just got one dock so sometimes you gotta wait a few minutes for another truck like it's it's kind of uh, you know it's not <laughs> it's not as quick and easy as the brokers make it seem like sometimes so, anyway uh, we'll get over here, pick up my trailer, and then uh, get on our way to Tennessee. And uh, we should be home tonight, get some home cooking, and then, uh, yeah, we'll plan the rest of the week out, or uh, or um, uh, really Friday, I mean, today's Thursday, so we'll plan, uh, we'll plan what we're going to do and how we're going to do next week kind of makes a difference on how we're going to do this week, because next week is Thanksgiving, so uh, anyway, catch up with you guys when we pick up the trailer. All right, we just uh, pulled in over here to Maricold in Piedmont, South Carolina. And um, we are gonna go in here and pick up our load. And uh, she said, your trailer might still be in Dock 25. We may not have pulled it out yet. And I said, okay. She said, but you do need to, uh, yeah, that's it right there. Uh, I do need to document your seal number. So uh, maybe, uh, maybe homeboy will seal me up once I pull out because my doors are still open. Doors are still open. Get back under this trailer. trailer is good our uh, paperwork is good everything's ready to rock and roll kind of funny I was checking out getting my paperwork and uh, the shipping clerk there was one guy in front of me so I was kind of waiting for him to be done 
a pretty small little area at the at the shipping desk. So I I was standing outside, and then uh, he walked out. I walked in, and uh, and uh, she goes, "That guy told me he's seen you on YouTube." <laughs> and I was like, "Ooh, that one that just walked by me?" And she said, "Yeah." I was like. And he didn't say anything to me, but he told you, and she was like, yep. She said she, that he's seen you on YouTube, and I was like, yeah. I was like, I get that a couple times a week, usually. It's, I was like, it's kind of weird. All right, I didn't realize that my phone stopped recording right there, but uh, basically what I said uh, after that was that, uh, hey, bro, just come up and say hi to me. <laughs> you walked right by me. You told her you recognized me, but you didn't say nothing to me. Kind of weird, bro. Kind of weird. No, I'm good. All right, we gotta get on our way, get out of South Carolina and get up into Tennessee, so let's go. Just uh, had to use the facilities, but we're a couple hours out from Nashville, two and a half hours out, and we're gonna go and make a couple deliveries. So. On our way, on our way. I'm always happy when I wash the truck. I should do it more often, right, Kirk? <laughs> All right, let's get trucking. All right, we're uh, crossing back into Tennessee. This area of uh, Interstate 24 does a little zigzag just outside of Chattanooga that puts you into Tennessee, then back into Georgia, then you come back into Tennessee right here when you cross the Tennessee River. So, uh, I'm, uh, yeah, crossing back into Tennessee right now, and... Uh, saw brake lights in the left lane I kind of I always get a little a little worried can't quite see past this travel trailer in front of me now I can now that we're up on top of the hill but left lane I saw some brake lights I'm always a little a little wary when uh, when there's numerous cars that all apply brakes at the same time it's like usually back it down pretty good in that situation but uh, anyway all right totally tubular Tennessee is where we find ourselves and uh, yeah we're about an hour and a half away from our first delivery so uh, you know I had some uh, I had some some delivery appointment times set and I thought it might be difficult to make it to them and sure enough it is but um, I know like delivering to stores you don't like their their delivery um, they don't have like firm appointments usually I've never delivered to Publix maybe they do but uh, I think we'll be okay just to show up and start getting stuff off the truck at each stop I think that's how we're gonna I don't think it's gonna be an issue because you know they finished the trailer this morning when I got there, she goes, okay, I just finished it. So she had just finished the paperwork and they put it in a little package, a little manila manila envelope. And, uh, so, yeah, so I mean, it takes, they they took all the way until the eight o'clock to, uh, to get it loaded up. So, anywho, uh, I think, I think we'll be fine though. We're getting there as quickly as we can. 
We've stopped once to take a potty break. Uh, we may stop one more time for a potty break, but other than that, we're running it straight there. And we'll run and just make all four of the drops. Boom, 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 boom. How many booms was that? Was that one too many booms? All right. I might have, I might have messed up on the boom. Uh, but anyway, I sound like fake trucking now. Boom. All right. Or as I, as I like to call them, squirrel goatee. That's. That's what I call it, squirrel goatee. Uh, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, you missed a great live the other night on Cash's King's channel. Because uh, sometimes Cash is just a comedic genius. <laughs> An evil comedic genius, but a comedic genius nonetheless. Uh, anyway, all right. We're going to keep on chugging down the road and, uh, and get up to uh, the first Publix store uh, is in Antioch, Tennessee. So uh, that's where we'll begin our uh, deliveries. And like I said, about an hour and a half away. So we'll catch up with you guys then. All right. We uh, made it over here to Antioch, Tennessee. We're coming in the last driveway here for um, for Publix this is the one that when I scoped out these locations this seemed like the, the way that trucks come in so nice easy turn there uh, anytime you're coming into a shopping center to deliver it's always a little bit nerve-wracking because these are not made for big trucks nine times out of ten now it's one thing when they're empty in the middle of the night and you can kind of crisscross through the parking spots and stuff but it's a whole other thing when there's cars everywhere and you know you're yeah Ooh, don't want to rub those trees looks like a number of people have rubbed those trees over the last few years Right, and no one's in the dock, so that's a good thing. It's like maybe they have two docks here. I gotta make sure this is Publix, though. Is this Publix? I feel like there... I don't think there was a store to the left of it. I think there was only stores to the right of it. So I am gonna just... Uh, I think I'm just gonna back into a dock. That's what I'm gonna do. We got in and out over here uh, in about uh, 30 minutes. Let me see. Yeah, 30, 33 minutes. So um, I was going to record stuff for you, but it was just kind of like I, I wanted to hurry up and do that. And then I needed to take some pictures of the truck for a potential buyer. So I was just kind of... I'm doing other things, all right? Other things, but anyway, um, yeah. On to the next store, two, store two out of four. So this is uh, this is what today is, man. We're just boom, 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 boom. And I'm thinking we should be done at the last store by four o'clock and then headed home. That's my goal. That's my goal. We'll see if we can hit that goal. All right, let's get to the next store. It's six miles away. Six and a half. Whatever. All right, drop number two. Engaged. Uh, I gotta find which one of these is the. Oh, it looks like the other one. That's one thing about this kind of stuff is um, is all the stores are very similar on these chains, you know, and that just makes life a little more simple because. You can kind of like know what to expect when you come around the building. All right, so that six and a half miles went by pretty quick. All right, 
I'm gonna go open my doors, get this thing offloaded. All right, and at 3.15, we are unloaded at stop number two. Next stop is three miles away. And uh, I got some directions from one of the guys who used to work at that store, so I think I have the right route to get in there and get into the dock, so. Just got a few more left to go. You know what, I gotta go put my load locks up. I'll pull out first, pull out, close one door, climb in there, put the load locks in, and be on our way. All right, stop number three. It's, uh, what time is it? It's 3.35. Let's do this. Uh. And at 3.47, stop three is done. Now we gotta make it to stop four. And it's a little bit late, so there's gonna be some traffic, but whatever, it's cool. We'll get our way, I gotta go close my doors, and then we'll go, let's go. All right, we made it to stop number four in the dock. Of course, stop number four was the most difficult dock to get into. It wasn't that hard, but it kinda was. And I always hate steep, steep docks that go down like that. All right, got done. That took about 10 minutes. Uh, all in all, pretty smooth day. Pretty, pretty, pretty smooth. I like it. We are now officially empty. Just gonna close up my doors. And drive home um, I'm looking for a load for tomorrow for Friday but uh, I'm getting a little worried because it really seems like next week is super slow so it may be hard for me to get back in time for Thanksgiving so I don't know what I'm gonna do yet hi guys uh, so I don't know what I'm gonna do yet we'll see we'll see what happens we shall see all right well Pretty easy day. Four drops went smooth. Um, you know, we started this morning at seven something in the morning, and uh, you know, we're done by five o'clock at night. It's not even five o'clock yet, but by the time I get home and everything, it'll be like 5 15, 5 30. Uh, this was what I was worried about though is this time of night, trying to drive around in town can be uh, challenging in a, in a car, in a in a small vehicle, let alone, um, you know, this, this type of a, uh, this type of night, time of night on these types of roads with, uh, with my truck, it can just be super, super, super difficult to, uh, to, to navigate and to find spaces to be able to pull out into traffic. Like there was a break from the right right now but no brake from the left. And then I have a feeling that the, the brake from, yeah, I can see a line of cars coming from the right as my left clears up. So pretty much I'm stuck. Even the left isn't even clearing up yet. It's almost clearing up. Uh, there's, there's a window. There's a window. I'm kind of gonna have to pull out in front of someone a little bit, but I have to go. There's a line back behind me into the, into the, uh, whatchamacallit, into the sh shopping center. So, uh, all right, I think I thought I was gonna turn right here. Let me double check my map, what the heck. All right, I just had to double check my map because it was telling me to go a different way and I'm like, wait, I, uh, like I, I know in general the direction I wanna go and the roads I need to hit and they're not the way that my map's telling me to go, so. It was trying to take me out on some narrow country roads all the way, like go out like the back way all the way out to my house, but uh, I don't know those roads at all. I don't know if my truck will be legal on those roads or even if, if not illegal, it, it may just be like just unsafe, you know? So 
I don't know those roads from anything. I don't want to just go driving around at twilight, <laughs> at dark, uh, trying to figure my way around some some little uh, back roads and stuff. Like, I know this way. I know where I'm going. I know where I'm supposed to turn. So I just haven't. I haven't been this far on this side of town. Uh, there's nothing really over here for me to go to. The closest that I've gotten to this is going to the Chick-fil-A that's on this road about a mile and a half down. Uh, you know, the, the direction we're going. So that's where like my familiarity starts is Chick-fil-A. Once we get to Chick-fil-A, I'll know. Actually, we're gonna turn before Chick-fil-A, but still that's, that's the area, right? Right in that region, that's where it's like, oh yeah, I know where I'm going. Okay, I've been here before. I know Chick-fil-A. I know it. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure that this one road that I'm about to take right now is a truck route, but it's a better road than most of the roads that I, because I, I know all of the roads from here to get to my house, and I think this is the best route without like, completely backtracking and going somewhere crazy so but this little stretch is the only stretch where I'm like yeah this may not be like an official truck route but it'll work that'll do donkey that'll do but all right um, you know what I'll do next I'll break down some numbers for this this little run that we did because we did a multi-drop load into Georgia then we did a multi-drop load from South Carolina back um, what did we do in, like, how did I, how did I figure that? I don't remember. Anyway, we'll, we'll break down what mileage I can and all of that because I'm, I'm not confident that I'll be able to find a load for tomorrow, uh, based on what I've seen on the load boards. Uh, the rates are really, really, really low right now and I don't, I don't feel very confident that I'll be able to stay profitable on my way out and on my way back so I don't know we'll see we shall see but anyway uh, yeah we'll break down the numbers next but what, what little numbers they are all right um, so got organized my paperwork here we kind of had a busy week so remember we finished last week on Monday morning we made a Monday morning delivery up in Cookville Tennessee so starting from that point we deadheaded down here we uh, picked up a load uh, from Murfreesboro, Murfreesboro, we did um, the multi-drop load down into Georgia. So we did three drops in Georgia, one, two, three. Um, and then we deadheaded from Douglas, Georgia, which was where the last stop was. We went to Alma, Georgia, picked up and brought a load to Atlanta, delivered it to Costco in Atlanta, deadheaded up to S South Carolina, hung out with Just Trucking, which was fun, which was amazing. Um, and I was looking for my clipboard because I got, I put his, uh, his sticker um on my little uh sticker wall of fame on my clipboard so um we went uh from south carolina and then we did four drops today one two three four count them count them i don't know if i missed that one two i don't know i don't know why my fingers don't do what i want them to do i just want it to look cool but it doesn't look cool one one two three i don't know four boom suckers finger looking good all right so all of that was um, just over 1,500 miles, 1,516 miles. Um, and then the revenue for those uh, basically, what, four days? Because today's Thursday, right? Yeah, four days. Um, it was uh, $4,800. So about $1,200 a day. Not bad. You know, I'll take it. Um, and so, yeah, so we ended up with about three sixteen dollars per mile. Um, but I, I hope I'm not done for the week. I hope to find a load tomorrow, um, or maybe leave out on like Saturday if I can find the right load and, um, get another trip done so that I can take a long weekend next weekend. I don't want to take a long weekend this weekend and next weekend. Cause I gotta make some money. We gotta keep this truck rolling. We gotta keep this truck moving. Uh, we, we got, we got plans and, and things that we want to accomplish in life. And, uh, all of those things require, uh, hard work, determination, and a, a little bit of capital. So, uh, gotta keep keep pushing the uh, the pedal on the right and continue going. Um, so that's where we're gonna end this video. 
Um, love you guys. Peace out. See you on the next load. If Whether that's tomorrow or next week, we'll find out. Hey, buddy. Uh, oh, wait, you're making a video? I uh, is. You don't want to be on no, YouTube? No, I just practiced my winter formal makeup, so no. So you have makeup on? No, it's bad. Oh, you you practiced, like, because you, cause you needed practice? Yeah. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> okay. Yep, you're, you're squeezing in. You got it, buddy. You got it. Okay. Hi. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I missed you. Daddy was in South Carolina. Can you say South Carolina? Can you say South Carolina? South Carolina. There you go. South Carolina. Uh, hi. Lucy. It's just that I make it. Ooh. Ooh. It's so cold. It is cold outside, man.